What's going on guys? It's Brandon here from dailyifix.com. Today I have some very, very interesting news to share with you guys. Now, as you know, Siri, aka the personal assistant for the iPhone 4S is what drove a lot of the sales to the 4S besides the fact that it was faster, had a better camera, and all the other obvious stuff. But anyways, Siri was one of the biggest things that they promoted and that they were saying was going to be great and one of the biggest things that drove the sales. And now it looks like that Siri might actually be coming to the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4 iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPhone 4, only those two because they have the A4 uh, processor. Now, as you know, the iPhone 4S has an A5 processor, but Siri was meant, was uh, they were saying that it may, be, may have been only on the 4S because it was it required an A5 chip, but actually that's wrong. It could be it can also run on an A4 chip, which is what the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4G have. So as you see, I have an article on the site. I'll have a link in the description. It will show you everything you need to know, and there's actually a video of this um, Siri running on the iPhone 4. There's one where it's really slow and then there's one where it's fast but it actually can't connect to the network yet. Now I Hate Snow and Go Johnny Boy are the ones that were behind this all. Uh, as you know they're iPhone hackers from the dev, I don't know if they're from the dev team but the I Hate Snow you know he's the one that made uh, all the snow jailbreaks, red snow, all that stuff. And um, yesterday I Hate Snow sent out a tweet saying excellent news Siri is not just compiled specifically for the A5 processor. And he said thanks to Go Johnny Boy, which is the other guy I guess that was helping him out and you know doing the doing all the uh, the research on that. So of course this is great news for you iPhone 4 uh, and iPod Touch 4G users. If you didn't buy the 4S, hopefully that Siri didn't make you want to purchase it just because of that. But anyways, there is a video I will link you again to this to this article and you can watch the video on there. And uh, now first of all, before I say that this is coming for sure. It's not for sure yet. You do. They're going to run into legal issues with Apple, obviously, because it was a 4S exclusive. They're going to run into legal issues, so I'm thinking that there's probably going to be there's probably going to have to be some sort of exploit for the iPhone 4S for it to be for it to modify um, Siri, so that's not under Apple's, I guess, licensing or something like that. So there's going to have to be some kind of exploit for the 4S for Siri to be able to get it onto the other devices legally without you know getting sued by Apple and things like that. So. I will update you guys once I know more and once more news breaks about this because uh, this is definitely something huge for um, the iPhone 4 and pretty much anything besides the 4S. We're going to see it could actually be coming to the 3GS and things like that, but they're saying that it's probably not because it doesn't have a fast enough processor. Again, A5 and A4 are pretty much the only things that can run it, but we will see. There may be a lower down option or something else that has not been announced yet. But anyway, like I said, I will update you guys with anything new comes out with the story or anything new happens in general uh, with Siri on other devices besides the 4S. So thanks for watching, guys. Again, this is Brandon from Daily iFix, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.